right, I'm in Toronto's East End uh, neighborhood called The Beaches, and right now I just completed an interview at this restaurant over here, The Green Egg Plant, which is an extremely popular restaurant in the neighborhood. And Queen Street itself is a very, very popular destination in Toronto. Um, there's lots of retail in the area, right next to it is the uh, Bowtie Restaurant, The Green Egg Plant. Here's a gift, uh, gift shop that actually offers items from uh, Tibet and all sorts of international destinations. Let me zip across the street. You can see traffic has died down a little bit. This is the Patala gift shop which all sort, with all sorts of colorful arts and crafts items from a place uh, from Tibet. Here's the owner. Hi, I'm a travel writer. Nice to meet you. Travel writer? Yes, oh, I'm nice doing a little you. story about uh, the beaches, uh, Queen Thank Street East. You. Thank you so much. And I was attracted to your place because it has all these different colors. <laughs> very colorful. Oh, very, right? very colorful, colorful store. And you have all these different items. I think some of them are from yeah. where? From uh, Tibet? All these are uh, actually handmade items uh -huh. uh, done by the uh, Women's Skills Development Project and uh, uh, some are from uh, Tibetan Refugee Handicraft Center. Wow, yeah, so the Women's the Skills, uh, skills what's it called? Skills, skills Development uh, Project. Development Project and uh, Tibetan oh, Handicraft Center, right? Oh, beautiful. From Tibetan individual uh, refugees, you know. Uh -huh. They made it by themselves also, right? So many beautiful handmade items that you can see, colorful. Why don't you show me some of them? Point some of them out to me, please. Yeah, sure. The, uh, these, these are scarves. Are, these are scarves, beautiful, uh -huh. colorful, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like a uh, tie-dye color style. Yes. Yep. And we have uh, beautiful scalps like this uh, with the uh, with the pocket a here. A little pocket. Little Look pocket, at that. Right. Yes. <laughs> Very and, nice. and scarf, well, we have a lot of scarf, and you can have a scarf and hat together. Oh, a scarf yeah, and with a built-in like this hat, or the other way around. Okay, great. Yeah. And we have a beautiful jacket, right? So lots of jackets here as we want. Uh huh. All these are beautiful jackets, and they're all handmade, all obviously. Handmade, yeah. And from wool? From 100% wool. 100% wool. Yeah, wool from Tibet. Right? Uh huh. And Are all the items from Tibet here? Uh, no, wools, wools. They the wools are from, yeah, Tibet. from Tibet. Then they bring it to the Nepal, then hand knit it in Nepal. Okay. Yeah. So now, like oh, sorry, what was your name? Jangchuk Doji, JD. Aha, uh -huh, JD, great. Yeah, you What's your connection to Tibet? Well, I'm Tibet. Are you Tibetan? Yeah. Oh, no wonder. I'm Tibetan, but unfortunately, I'm born in India uh -huh. because Chinese occupied Tibet in 59. Okay. So that's why the Lama escaped to India in 1959. And my parents uh, did the same thing. So my parents, uh, my parents escaped from uh, Tibet to India, right? So that's why I was born in India. Oh, you're yeah. born in India, yeah, but you're from I'm Tibet. I'm from, but I'm from Tibet. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, let me give you another, uh, another show of some of the items here. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the store? It's called uh, Patala Gift Shop. Patala Gift Shop, that's right. What does Patala mean? Patala is the palace of the Dalai Lama. You can see the picture oh, there. That is the Patala. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's the that's the Patala. I yeah, see. That picture is Patala. Okay. And that is the palace of the Dalai Lama. Oh great. Yeah, Dalai Lama. Ah. That's the palace of the Dalai Lama. Well, so, thank you so much for that information. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, JD. Yeah, you're welcome.